Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. I've come back to the end of time. Uh, as you noticed in the last episode, we opened a couple of new rooms, I think, as we got a couple of star stones. And I've just noticed these need healing. Uh, I've also been back down to the graveyard. And done all the grave robbing in the old church that we needed. And I thought we'd get out of the way and get a little bit more experience. But we've come back to the end of time and now we have this new portal to go through, so we shall go through it without further ado. This place looks rather cosy, doesn't it? It does. Almost like coming home. By the fangs of the void, it is true. She told me she had seen you. Yet never would I have believed her delusions until here now. They manifest before me. You have become undeniable. The scurrilous sentinels themselves. It is miraculous, irrefutably so. But oh, how low. You have fallen. Look at what you have become. What was stars have become moribund embers. You. You are to be pitied. Oh. Hello, that demon. And none too friendly either. That's a bit of a turn off of the box, isn't it? Oh, I see, I remember this now. These are our living quarters. I think this gives us the option to change our appearance. Yes, it does. Uh, no, we'll stay the way. Same as way as we are. Thank you very much. Uh, we each have one of these. Is that his or hers? This isn't my chest, which somehow I knew. My old chest. Why do I... Remember it. Okay, so now when we send things in, in from the inventory, we should have the option to send to the homestead. There we go. So we can send things to the homestead to store them. Hmm. So I might do that with all these keys that we have. Oh, well, maybe that's something to be done off camera, eh? Don't want to really be boring you to this, sending a load of keys back to the homestead, do we? So if that's hers, this must be his. This chest, I know it to be mine, but how? Ancient diary. Ah, that gives an update. General's tale. Okay, so Santa's journey. Let's check out here, make sure there's nothing that we need. I don't think there is anything else. Better check on the other side for. Oh, hang on, we'll check the cupboards, have we? Better get that done. You never know. Might find something of interest. Uh, I don't think we want a broken bottle, do we? Is there a part of the book over here? Yes, there is. And that updated it even further. Uh, just generally, fed all the responsibilities that have been given to her as a ruler. Her state of mind indicates great mental burden and she longs to find peace from civilization altogether. Okay. Right, so there should really be another room that's been unlocked. Let's see if uh, Zigzag's points is in the right direction. Ah, oh, yeah, there he is. He's somewhere else. Next chamber. There you 
those are. How jolly. There's something quite astounding you must see. It's the Weaver. Thanks to the Starstone you've collected, she's mended a portion of the tapestry. Look, a new story has been rewoven into time. A new portion of history appears to us for the first time in not even I know how long. Let us look together. Let us see what the Weaver has woven. Long ago, two great generals led mankind in a terrible war. The dreaded Void Dragon threatened all of existence, and man and gods alike joined swords to stop it. The two generals were celebrated as the rulers of all, and even the gods paid them tribute. I greet you, Honorable Master of the House. I am the Shepherd of Elements and I control how they may flock towards your most imperial presence. So, if it pleases you, command me and the elemental aspect of your choice shall once more settle among these holy halls. Hmm. Okay, so which one shall we unlock? Shall we go in order? Yes, let's go in order. And that is your final choice? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. That is our final choice. Thy will be done. Through the portal. We can now go through the fire portal. Good gods! What an infernal Feels like we've landed inside the heart of the sun. I don't think there's anything up here, is there? Ah, oh, yes, there is a piece of the book. Let's just grab that. When you read this, I will have departed. It has to be. Sovereignty is fast becoming a curse. It was always her speciality, not mine. So all of it is yours. The glory and the power. For myself, I seek only the inner peace I cannot possibly find in cities or in palaces. I know you'll understand. To all the world, I'll be unreachable. But you know the secret ways and your letters will find me. Still, and should you wish them to. So goodbye, goodbye, and good luck. Okay, log updated. General learned about the apparent departure of his colleague and seems to delight in the fact that he alone will now rule the realm. He cares only for power and to be the greatest king there ever was. Assuming control of the realm it intended to be ruled by unnamed woman. Okay, right. Nothing down here. Devramos. Speak to me. You! What radiance burns from your being? Enough to scorch even the likes of me, I find. And that is no small feat. Most impressive, yes, most impressive indeed. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Why, I am a soldier of fire! And does this landscape not befit me? I have lived here for eons, since the first great peace, when the world as your kind know it, was first secured. We were invited here by a great leader, I believe. Yes, a leader, I'm sure it was. The details, they crumble like ash when I try to grasp them in truth. But the radiance of that time has never left me. Victory, blazing victory, adorned our heads like a crown of glorious flames. I'm sure one as radiant as yourself must understand exactly what I mean. And what do you know about fire magic? What do I know? Ha! Fire magic is me, and I am it. A far better question is what would you like to know? Okay. That's so, all oh, we can get. Divine light, we don't need that. No. We need that one of. I noticed that she didn't have that. Uh, Flurry's level 12. She has a whirlwind taunt. Mm. Rage. 
Increases your armor and chance to hit, but you do more damage on high. Oh, it decreases your armor and chance to hit. Oh, no, thank you. What's that one? Blank skill book. Take that fire arrow. I don't want to explode. Purifying fire. Ooh, a nice little buff. One. Look at the price. Meteor Strike, level 15, level 15. Avatar of Fire. Immolation. Fire Absorption. Do we have Whale Fire? I don't think we do, do we? So it's hastened. I don't, I don't use that very much. We'll see if we can get by without that, I think. Have we anything to sell? Yes, I think we have. That. 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 Fire, earth, air. Air, which is the best air? That one. So that one. Painting of a pig. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Uh, I can get rid of that as well. Should give us this for free, Daramos. I'll take my leave. Take care, my friend. Those who blaze brightly may find themselves targeted by darkness. Right. Medora. Scarlet. Bed Otto. Or, uh, can we get rid of those keys? All right, so that is that done. updated again. The missing threads were restored a thread of tapestry and learned that long ago two great generals defeated the Void Dragon and were heralded as rulers of all. Another star stone, another room. We met a fire elemental who can aid with our fire skills. Okay, that's pretty simple enough. I don't really think we need to speak to these, do we? Uh, I'll just check see if you've got anything else, anything else to say. How might I serve our mission? Threads I weave and tales I see. All will I tell. I found a great chamber with two bedrooms. Do you know who we belong to? Can the answer be anything but you? The threads say that you slept there. You both did. Until the vigil of day and vigil of night called you away. Duty. Never did you waver from your duty. Never? I cannot be certain. Perhaps, just once, you failed. Okay. It seems a demonic creature is roaming these halls. It recognized me. Do you know what that is? He is the instigator. He is the beginning of all ends. The birth father of death and void. Be wary of him. I know not what is fear, and yet, before him, I tremble. Okay, right, let's change the subject, let's take our leave. And I do believe we have nothing left. Oh, we have one thing left. Good grief. Well, we need to turn in the church expedition. And we also need to do the Elf Orc Blood Feud. Not good. And throw in a quick save there to make sure that doesn't get lost. And have a quick word with this young lady here, Claudia Black, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, Selena. Cold drink. 
So good to see you again, Source Hunter. Uh, let's talk about some matters concerning the Legion. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. By all means. The old church. For two years, all news has been bad news. And clearly nothing has changed. More dead, more undead, and more letters to write home to grieving widows and widowers. Still, I thank you for telling me, Source Hunter. Knowledge is better than uncertainty. Okay. We have turned all those in, I think. Uh, yes. Yes. So now we need to deal with this person in the inn. Englander. He's the one I think that wants to have the mayor's daughter the or killed, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am on this instance. Come along, people, hurry up. Ah, <laughs> you have come. Yes, <laughs> that is most satisfactory. <laughs> Be gone, uh, brittle mask of age. Hear me now repeat the words of Brittle Tooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come, play with me, for I'm hungry. Come, play, play, play. Uh, you're off your head. <laughs> My name is Eglandir Twilselanar, elf of the house of Gandavum, the slaughtered house of Gandavum. But by the twin blades of the Shadow Vixen, I shall have my revenge. The walls of memory are stained with blood, and I would see them bloodier still. The game, yes! A game of blood and brutality, of death and dexterity. <laughs> Fun as herring the horror Harlequin. But, like the serpentine stalker, this is before the stab. Hush now. Darkness, darling. Hush. Hush. And listen to my tale. The elves of Gandavum. They lived in peace. Oh, yes. But one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandavum no more. All undone. Every last one of us. Except for me, the Midnight Rambler, away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. But death shall not find me. Oh no, not until every beast of Kazaldegard has been bled. I may be frail, a withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now is almost over. By Kala, Lady of the Last Gaze, I swear it is almost done. Only the very last one of the Kazal de Gastel eludes me. The crowning kill that would seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down by the curse of the Spine Spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen son is setting fast. Color the dusk red, O oh sword of youth. Bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clings to her flesh, soon to fade. <laughs> and yours shall be the bounty of vindication. Mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction. After long, long last. So my target would be Victoria, a girl orc? Yes, Victoria. 
She is the one whose heart must be held in hand. The heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultica, they knew my name. Oh, yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last. An infant, she who was to be queen, to no avail, oh no. Years, how many I know not, years I, I searched, and now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being, but by the fork of Barbara Maneater she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature. One of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumored womb of a filthy, coarse-haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Oh, good grief. Victoria. Librarian. <laughs> Daughter. <laughs> Adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Cecil. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it out. Set it free. Undo the last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara Goatsucker, give me my revenge! I'll take my leave. <laughs> you crazy old man. Whoa, hang on. He wants to speak. We have a conversation. That was quite the radical change we witnessed. I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance driven aficionado of assassins. Uh, yeah, as much as savage as those orcs, and how was Victoria guilty of a tribe's crime if she was but a babe at the time? Indeed. Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past. And yet she's on a, let's call him, eccentrics hit list. Okay. Let's just go and have a word with Victoria. It's always a nice day in the middle of Sicily, isn't it? Please, 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 on your block with a wheel of the good stuff. Hello, Victoria. Oh, hang on. Uh, one thing we need to do a quick save in there. Just in case this goes badly. Victoria's Jagetta, friend. I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Oh, I know what you're thinking. The likeness isn't exactly striking, is it? Ooh, I need that. I think at some point I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Uh, okay, we'll just pay for it. There we go. Thank you. When I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Sicile toward the sea. The fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be Amond Hor, dear Cecil was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant that chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own. This kindest of souls taught me the language of men, their customs and their letters. Thus, I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. Kira Lizor! Oh, do pardon my language, my friend, but that is quite the startling revelation. So much sadness, so much anguish. Eglandir's tale is heartrending, though it seems that in the pursuit of retribution, he has himself become as great a ghoul as those that wronged him. Does he not see that I am now the one who is to be wronged? Why, oh why must he make me, of all gentle-minded and life-loving creatures, why must he make me the target of his imperishable hate? Whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. So, let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? 
Though, first let me say this. Hashizm bil kushim zunum. From my heart, I thank you for warning me. I thank you and I trust you. So pray, let me pose the question. What do you advise we should do? It is your amulet the elf wants. That's proof of your death. So why not give it to me? My amulet? But it is Haxmaji, a sacred token that houses the presence of my ancestors. No, I cannot part with my talisman, the keepsake of my soul. Okay, so it looks like we need to reason. We seem to have a plus one on that, so we'll... It's, it's, it's a keepsake, no matter how precious. Worth your life. Oh, here we go. Right. Oh, damn it. Now ah, we win. That's good. When you put it like that, I guess I cannot say that it is. I do this very reluctantly, but fine. Have my talisman. May it fool the elf that would see me dead. Okay, log updated. I need to see Anglander again. The night in Seath. See what this crazy elf says. to death. That is what I want of thee. Yes. Yes. Have you made the orc feel the black and b biting cold sent her toward the gangling grip of the greedy grey? Huh? Yes. So it is. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> <laughs> By Angus, the impaler's favourite stake, you done well by me. Oh, ravager of Gazaldegar, the last of their line is dead. The house of Gandavan must be avenged. Sweet flowing blood. The quest of decay is at an end. My wealth is yours. My life is death's. By the hollow sockets of the voidwood eye gouger, I bid thee thanks and fond farewell. Wow, he's got some vocabulary. Was he win? Don't go in the library. <laughs> Please. Uh, let's just shut that door a minute. Hey, stop that! Identify. Forty six and fifty HP. Uh, yes, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, we'll take that as well. Let's have a quick look. What else is in here we can take? <laughs> a bed daughter. Okay. Anything else of interest? One of the chest. Empty. Bucket, bucket. Nothing else. No. I wonder why she doesn't like us closing the door. Right, so that should be the end of that, I think. Let's have a look. 
Yep, that's done. Exhibition church is done. We've only got the quest in the next section, I think. So that's probably a good place to end the episode. Fresh and we can start in Lucula Follis, uh, Forest, 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 next seems. episode. So thanks for watching, folks. This is All Grey signing off.